Greetings, this is Genshin Kun, and we're back with more Steinsgate. Finally, I know, right? Um, it's been some time. Um, I think we were testing out the theory still about the whole banana thing. But anyway, uh, let's get back to the visual novel, shall we? I whip out my phone and call up the history. Oops. Oh, no, 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 not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. Okay, there we go. Connect to network, change all settings, open address book. Daru, Phoneway, Fenris, Lukaku. I whip out my phone and call up, call up the history. Proceed. Or maybe I'm... But it's gone. There we go. I was like, yeah, it's gone. Not a trace of the mail remains. According to my memory, I think it was about 30 minutes after the Dr. No Nakabachi's conference. About 10 people, including me, saw uh, Kirisu's body panicked and fled Radio Kaiken. That's when I sent the mail. But no matter how many times I checked, there's no record of it. It should be there, but it isn't. Just like the banana inside the phone wave, name subjects change. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration strikes. Inspiration! Edison would be proud. This isn't something you can accomplish with effort. Basically, I'm a genius. I turn to Dara and Kirisu with a huge grin on my face. I slapped the top of the phone wave, name subject to change. Genius. で何かかんけいがあるのはわかったで何かって何それを調べるのがお前の仕事だクリスティナ柱さんこの人と話すの疲れる最初はみんなそうだよ基本的な対策は間に受けないことそこ俺の言動全否定するな Whatever, I'll prove that I'm right. If we can't reproduce the electrical charge discharge phenomenon, it should bring us closer to understanding the timestamp mystery. Okay. I disconnected the phone, plugged into the phone way name subject to change, and replaced it with mine. And then I hear the door open in the lounge. Oh no! Oops. Sorry, no bananas! Mari comes in carrying a convenience store bag. Looks like she's done with work. Okay, that was adorable. When she enters the development room, her eyes go wide. When she notices Kirisu, Maori bows her head with her usual smile.
ケケロッパでどんな操作をさっき言った通りメールの着信設定の調整だって遠隔操作のためのメールを受け取った時のモニタリング用でさ Just checking something real quick Okay, we're good だから同時に120秒の冷凍機能を使ってた God, I'm paranoid There we go, sorry PC からでも冷凍機能を起動できるようにしてやんだよね昨日はそのテストもしてたんだメグリジューシーカラーゲナンバーワンを電話レンジカッコカリの中へみんなもカラーゲ食べる一個ずつならあげてもいいよ With the usual ditziness, Mallory puts the chicken inside the microwave Diary explains the, what everything on the computer monitor means doesn't look that different from using DOS. I entered a uh, 120 pound on the keyboard and strike the enter key. The way the blah blah blah, the phone wave name subject chain starts up. The juicy chicken number one starts spinning backwards on the turntable. Kirsi stares at hard at the phone wave name subject chain as if not to let any anomaly, no matter how slight, escape her notice. <laughs> So, when it's that, it's Joshu. Yes, you can it. I got it. It's got a lot of your aunt and Joshu in Atta. You got a little bit of an anime or great. If we reproduce the conditions correctly, then if she sends something to my phone while it's connected to the phone wave, name subject to change, it should arrive with a timestamp from the past, not the present. But my assistant, Kirisu, scowls. I <laughs> Edgy, edgy. Edgy! Okay, anyway. あ、おう、えっと、なんて適当でいい。えっと、えっと、クリスティーナは変態。これでおくれ。変態禁止って言っただろ。じゃあ、間を取って、オカリンは変態で。この裏切り者め。Kizu grins and gives Daru a thumbs up. I really don't like this. Oh no, she found out. Sounds like Maori's found the result of our latest experiment. メール送信するぜ。マユシさん、お金は後で払うよ。そこの本院さんが。なぜ俺なのだ。わあ、どうしていつもマユシの食べ物で実験するの？あ、もしかしてこのから揚げも実験してるのかな？おお。そういうことだ
What am I supposed to- Oh! Okay, I was like, what's taking so long? A thin cloud of smoke fills the room. It smells like something burning. My eyes are numb from all the flashing light. I tried blinking several times to regain my sight. I can hear Kirsu and Daru coughing. I always squeezes my upper arm with her slender fingers. My vision gradually returns. Mari looks perplexed. I may be insane mad scientist, but I'll, I'll still risk my, li li risk my life and limb for the safety of my comrades. I gently let Mari on my embrace. Whew! Well, that was something. I wiped the sweat off my brow. Here's the voice is strained. <clears throat> when my vision finally restored, I, I take another look around the room. And what I see strikes me speechless. The large table in the center of the room is made of thick, solid wood. It can hold about five or six people without breaking. That's why we place the phone wave named Sujit's Change and the X68000 uh, on it. The table has been split in two, as if a woodcutter, as if by a woodcutter's axe. The computer and the other parts connected to the microwave are scattered across the floor. What's this? Oh, why do I have that up? What was that nonsense? Um, and then the microwaves, and the microwave itself has broken through the table. It literally, it's literally stuck in the floor. Check out my surprise. This is no time to be standing with Jaw Gabe, uh, hoeing Kyoma. Seize the moment! <laughs> First some man <laughs> first some manical laughter. Next I try to take out my phone and do the usual, but unfortunately it's still plugged into the phone wave. Name subject to change. El Sa Kangaro. I whispered the words. Words that have no meaning. Words I use simply because they sound cool. They'll use these words have meaning because they have no meaning. After years of repeated use, just speaking them is enough to calm my heart. Mayushi <laughs> stands up and looks inside the phone wave, name is to change. It's embedded in the floor, but see, she somehow manages to pry the door open. I pat Ma Mari's shoulders to cheer her up. Rip juicy chicken number one. Rip rip. I fix everyone with an overpowering stare. This shall be remembered as the moment that the greatest experiment of the century succeeded and brought humanity a step forward in a new direction. These guys have no right to ruin with their foolish talk. My heart pounding, I detach my phone from the phone wave name subject to change. Luckily, it's completely unharmed. I open it and it still works. I bring up a list of received emails. New emails should be should come at the top. However, my heart beats even faster. 
topmost email isn't the one Dars sent before the di uh, discharge uh, occurred. That this impossible phenomenon is exactly what I was hoping for. I look back through my email history, and there I find it. <laughs> success! I don't know why, but it was a success. The timestamp proves it. I received this email on July 24th, five days ago. This is the same exact thing that happened to my phone. So, uh, excuse me, happened to my someone staff Kirisu email. The mail sent on the 29th arrived on the 24th, and just now the truth was revealed to me in a flash of inspiration. I'm gonna see if I can turn down next next not in this recording but ne ne the following um, session um, turn down the music a little bit so yeah I'm sorry if anything's a little bit too loud feel my lips twist into a grin I meet Kirisu's glare head-on Serendipity. How dare she ruin my speech? Oh well, let's get to the point. Kirisu seems to get it now, as expected of my genius assistant. This is the choice of the Steingate. Time travel paranoia. Chapter 2! Yay! Chapter 1 is done. Okay, let's see here. How long have we been recording? Okay, we can go a little bit longer. The dawn of a new day. Well, since my... Oh, no. No! I don't want that. Give me my phone. Now let's see you. Shiny... Wow! Holy crap. What the heck? Moeka here. Are you a student, Okaba? Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me. Okabe kun, are you on summer break? Moeka. Can I respond? Are you a day person or a night person? If you rather I email you around a certain time, let me know. I want to I want you to reply as soon as you can, but I don't want to be bothered, so let me I don't want you to be a I don't I don't want to be a bother, so let me know, okay Moeka. By the way, I don't like talking on the phone, so please don't call me. <laughs> bye bye. I just remembered I didn't tell you my phone number, that's okay. I'm a lot more comfortable communicating by email anyway. What about you, Okabe Kun? <sighs> Are you asleep? Rise and shine. Have you talked to the uh, super hacker yet? Oh, I also like to hear about John. What's his face? I'm super curious. Yeah, she's kind of a weird character. I don't. I'm nocturnal, so I usually don't go to bed until the sun comes up, so. It's not so bad once you get used to it. Mail me when you wake up, okay, Moeka? Okay. The dawn of a new day. Actually, it's already noon. We didn't sleep at all. Sleep deprivation make, makes uh, the summer's uh, sun seem all the brighter. I really don't want to go outside, but I'm fed up with the humidity inside the lab. I chug a bottle of Dr... Dr. Pepper. My stomach protests. Maybe I drink too fast. I'm exhausted. My hands are shaking slightly. My vision is cloudy. I could pass out if I'm not careful. 
Maybe I should take a shower. That should stave off exhaustion, if only temporarily. This building has a basic shower room. There's no bath, but it's good enough. The lab will be hell without it. Dario's at his computer. His back toward towards me. His right leg is bouncing impatiently. The room is mostly silent, save for the electric fans humming and Dario's mouse clicks. Dario doesn't look my way, and he doesn't try to start a conversation. Neither do I. I don't have the energy. Outside is a sunny summer afternoon, but inside the air is stale and empty of life. Yesterday, that shocking experiment convinced me that the phone wave name subject change was also a time machine. But Kirisu didn't seem willing to accept the results. She just started screaming. Then she took a mad dash out of the lab. It was like she couldn't get out of here fast enough. As for Molly, she was depressed about her chicken and bananas, so she skipped her daily costume sewing and went home. Grudges over food run deep, I guess. Which I leaves the lab empty, save for Dara and me. Our enthusiasm is, uh, excuse me, our enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that the phone wave names that changed had tremendous hidden potential. We nearly died of excitement after success successfully sending an email to the past. So we stayed up all night doing experiments to confirm whether or not the phone wave names that changed is indeed a time machine. The results, however, we went to the supermarket and stocked up on a wide variety of items. We tossed each of them into the phone wave names such as change, but everything failed. No change, nothing happened. After the experiment, we uh, excuse me. After the experiment where the discharge phenomenon occurred, everything warmed up normally. No jellification. Suddenly, we couldn't get anything to happen. We still have no idea why. First, let's review the problems revealed by the last run of experiments. Problem one. Electrical discharge safety precautions. We removed everything flammable from the development room to reduce the risk of fire. We also prepared two fire buckets full of water just in case. But that's not a fundamental solution. We'll keep an eye out from now on, but if things get dangerous, we should seriously consider relocating our experiments. Problem two, mass increase. When the discharge phenomenon occurs, the phone wave name such as change suddenly gains mass for unknown reasons. Because of this, uh, because of this, the microwave broke the table and made a dent in the floor. To deal with this issue, we placed a microwave on the floor. We proceed. We uh, spread cushions and blankets underneath. This hides the hole in the floor too. It's only a temporary fix, though. If we make any more holes, Mr. Brown is quite capable of raising my rent. And that's to say nothing of the calamity it will cause if it falls through the floor. Anyway, we need to find the source of the mass increase. If amateurs like us can eat, e e if amateurs like us even can, that is. But the first two problems pale before the third. This is the last problem. It's cr it, it problem is critical. Until we solve it, we can't really experiment with the phone wave name subject to change. Problem three. We're not even sure of the necessary conditions to send email to the past. No matter how many times we tried, we couldn't pin down a single condition. We spent the entire night doing trial and error. We tried over 40 different things, but, but not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. I had the idea that opening the microwave door was the key. That theory was proven false. There might be something else I'm missing, but for now, we're at an impasse. We started off in high spirits, but we grew more and more frustrated as time progressed, which brings us to the present. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing about like this. I haven't gotten a reply yet. Are you still asleep? You sleep too much, Uncle Bikun. You're living like an old man. Well, I guess I'm not the one to talk. Anyway, let me know when you have anything on the IBM uh, for 5,100. Pretty please, Moeka. Dang. I've been getting way too many of these since yesterday. They're all from Shining Finger, the woman called Kirio Moeka. I've never used the email this often before. Even Maori only sends me one or two a day, and she's a teenage girl. Frankly, this is starting to get on my nerves. I saw how fast Shining Finger typed. That should have been enough to tip me off that she was a male demon. I, I was careless. It is too much of a pain to reply, so I ignore it. I finish off my bottle of Dr. Peace, my stomach gurgles. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Well, okay, here's the one thing I've noticed so far. It's like, if you, re if you look at your emails during certain periods of time, it changes what um, Hoenn Kioma may say. That's happened to me twice now, I think. It'll probably happen more often, too. 
I'm so hungry I don't even feel like uh, showering. I call out Daru who's hammering on the keyboard. Oh my god. Mario, she's spending money is getting dangerously low. You and Dara need to chip in too sometimes. You don't want to get between me and my food. No. You eat too much anyway. Go on a diet before it's too late. That's mean, but we're sending it anyway. Hey, wanna go for Sambo? Uh, go to Sambo for some people? What is doing on. What is. doing on the. Okay, that's an error. <laughs> what is doing? What is doing on the computer anyway? I'm curious, so I casually peek over his shoulder. There's an image of futuristic-looking facility I've never seen before. Which of the color uh, cords crawl through the gigantic octo octagonal tunnel, like the interior of a spaceship from a sci-fi movie? Based on the height of the people in the picture, the tunnel looks to be more than 10 meters tall. Incidentally, the people don't look Japanese. Sorry, size Hartley. I don't know if the blank look in his eyes is from sleepiness, exhaustion, or something is just wrong with him. <laughs> is that an incantation? No, a secret technique? Whoa! Grab Dar's relaxed shoulder and wring him them out. Nebuketa <laughs> お前。人でないものにも性欲を。ねえよ。でもなんつうの見てて<笑> Two D, three D, and even inanimate objects. You're my man, Daru. Yet you'll do anything to avoid something that doesn't interest you, Hi hypocrite. Sarah, that name. I've seen it somewhere before, and recently, where was it again? Oh, of course. John オカリンが言ってたのって今アットチェンで祭りになってるやつのことだったんだな。それは偽物であるかのせもある。俺が言ってる状態だわ。10年前に現れた方だ。10年前にも現れたん?同一人物?Okay, oh, excuse me, pardon me. Um, okay, I think this is a good place to end before we get into deep into more um background. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, session of Steins Gate. There'll be more recordings. I'll be recording probably Chaos Head at, right after this. And I have uh, I still have content from uh, Witch's House to put up. And more Wada no, no Hara in the Big Blue Sea. And more Pokemon Sage. So until next time, excuse me. So until next time, guys, thank you for joining me. And have a good day. Sayonara.